the lockdown continues. Just before we got locked down, Buster found that uh, gold love out pendant. Well, a couple of years before that, I found the other side to it. That looks like God, that's gold. You look at them side by side. Well, we haven't looked at them side by side because we've not had them together yet. But uh, if you look at them on the videos, and I'll put a picture of Buster's up, they look very similar. Have a look at this. I don't know what the stone is. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a tester. There might be a little diamond in it. That looking at that glistening. Well done. Where's the other half? Where did know. you find it? No, I broke what up there. Yeah, that's that's nine carat gold. That. And then we found this nice little nine carat rose gold ring. You remember this one? Oh yeah. Like in this one. The rose gold. Cool. And then we also tried, well we did, I think we did 16 dig or don't digs. Um, this was one where we found gold. You remember this one came in number 19. Some people said don't dig it. But this is what happened, dig or don't dig, when we used to do those. Right, let's do a dig or don't dig. I'll tip you down a bit. Dig or don't dig? Holy shit! I mean, whoops. Congratulations if you said dig. Game on. Well done if you said dig. Nice one. Congratulations. If you fancy having a go at the dig or don't dig videos, there were 16, I'll put a link up there for you to check them out. And then we found going up along the seawall doing some coin shooting, people stood over the top, you know, like they do, stood over the top watching, oh you'll never find anything, you don't find anything. We've got that little pocket spill, we've got the coin and the little silver ring in it. You remember this one? <laughs> Back to summer days. That's a pound, 2021 20, down there. Another, fingers crossed. Oh well, no, it's not a quid. a sparkler and people stood above you saying you never find anything <laughs> up yours right and then we was also doing along the seawall one day it had been raining the night before and there's uh, storm drains that run off run off the road and the water runs through the drain onto the beach where it washed washed out uh, some sand in a channel down down to where the sea is Got a nice silver ring. This was, I think, three or f three or four years ago.
And then more Bournemouth action. First time with the CTX. Well, not the first time. But, uh, out with the CTX. Nice ring with that. And then also in Bournemouth with the Equinox. Another silver ring with that one. I love Bournemouth. Might be good. That's it, it's been good. Oh, I do. <laughs> it's my good luck charm. I don't know, but it looks fancy. I thought it was going to be a five pence piece. But no. It's a shame because the bloody tide's here now. Nice one. This is why we like Winter Bournemouth during the summer. Either midsummer or obviously August bank holiday weekends. We've got the air show on. Thousands and thousands of people packed the beach from end to end, front to back. This is one, one day we've got the really nice platinum and diamond ring. I think we did enough junk. There you go, people. Ooh. Number six. Now you get to see what's on it. Nice pattern on it. And then this is a roundup for nine days in Bournemouth at the end of at the end of one summer. So the weather scuppered the plans for the Bournemouth roundup, but what did we end up with? 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 119. Oh, I don't know. 10 pences, 10 pences. So on the next video, we're going to do more hammer coins and uh, relics. If you fancy a bit of a quiz, we do, we do a quiz night. Every couple of nights during the lockdown. I'll put, I'll put a link up there to that. If you enjoy the Best Bits videos, I'll put a link up there as well for some of the Best Bits videos. Check them out, feel free to comment, leave us a comment, share and subscribe. See you next time, stay safe, thanks for watching, bye. Paul C and Crawford's Metal Detecting. Powered by Mind Lab. Fueled by passion. Subscribe, enjoy and learn more.